What's up everybody? Today we're going to look at how I turn myself into a video game character. Basically how to achieve this 16-bit pixel effect than After Effects. But before we go into that, I want to go over the verse of the day, which comes from Proverbs chapter 13, verse 18, which reads, Poverty and disgrace come to those who ignore instruction, but the one who accepts rebuke will be honored. Now, obviously, this verse applies to Jesus as well. When Jesus comes down and calls people sinners and says, like, you know, no way is right except for his way, I have to have a humble heart to accept that, number one, I'm a sinner, and number one, he's the only way. Way, right I can't listen to myself I have to die to myself and listen to him moving on with the tutorial so the first thing is uh, we have this you know footage of me right here doing this little like shimmy so the first thing we want to do is remove the green which we can do by right mouse clicking on our clip go to effect and then go to color correction and then select selective color then we want to go up here and change the reds to greens and then we can take the cyan and bring it up to 100 and then magenta to negative 100 and then the yellow to uh, 100. And what this will do is this is going to intensify the green in our footage. So uh, this is the before and here's the after. And this will help with keying out the green, which we can right mouse click on the clip again, go to effect and then keying and then select key light and then grab our eyedropper tool right here and then select a portion of the green screen. And you can see it removes the green. Now it's not going to be perfect if we select the final result, drop down menu right here and then select screen map. You can see it better visual of it and I obviously have way too much shadow within the shot but we can still adjust that if we go to the screen mat drop down window right here we can bring up the clip black number and that's going to bring more black into the shot which removes the shadow that we have now black is what's getting removed um, and we don't want to remove any of myself so we can go to the clip white and then bring that number down until we get something that we like. You know, just try to meet in the middle here. I also like to change uh, the replace method to hard color. It gets rid of the noisiness in it. So now that we've removed the green screen, we also need to remove the ceiling here, which we can do just by drawing a mask around myself and then the ceiling is gone. But we can see that we're cutting off my hat right there. I didn't realize that I was too tall for this green screen. So now I just need to go through and draw a mask around my hat, adjusting it frame by frame. That's my punishment for not checking the footage. And with that, we now have myself soloed off again, doing this little uh, shimmy shimmy move right there. So now we can begin to add this pixelated effect. So let's first right mouse click on our timeline down here and then go to new and then adjustment layer to add in a new adjustment layer. And on this adjustment layer, we're going to go to effect and then we're going to go to stylize and then Posturize, posturize, and then we're going to set that level number to nine. Now on this adjustment layer again, we're going to go to effect and then go to stylize and then CC block load. Now I'm going to disappear, which we can fix that just by unchecking the start cleared. And now you can see this effect gives us that pixelated type uh, of look. The number is set to four scans. If we go to like six, you can see that it's going to make the pixels bigger. And if we go lower, it'll make the pixels smaller. I like four. It might be different for your effect. Uh, I filmed this in 6K, so that could also affect it as well. And then we're going to add one more effect to this adjustment layer, which is going to be found in effect and then time and then posturize time. And we're going to set the frame rate here to eight. And this is just going to have our composition playback at eight frames per second. Now, this particular effect can be slow on your computer. It can slow down your edit time. So if you're having problems where it seems to be freezing up, you can always just uncheck the effect and then right before you render out, just go ahead and make sure that you turn it back on. Okay, so now we're going to add another adjustment layer on our timeline here. And on this adjustment layer, we're first going to add a color correction effect, which is the Lumetri color effect. I'm going to go to the curves drop down window and then I'm going to grab this handle right here and then bring it up a little bit to fade out the blacks. And then we're going to add another effect on this adjustment layer, which is going to be found at generate and then grid. Now you can see the grid covers our image, which we can fix by going to the blending mode and then just setting it to add so we can see ourselves again. And now we want this grid to actually match right with the pixels that we already have on our person here. And to do that, we can um, grab the anchor point and set it to say a corner of this square right here and then grab the corner point and set it to the bottom corner of the exact same square. And now you can see the grid will match with all the pixels that we already have on our person. Now the grid is uh, obviously way too thick here so we can do the border down to something like three and then we can also change the opacity uh, to, you know, whatever our liking is. I think I'm going to like something like uh, 20 or 15. Next thing we want to do is add some noise to our adjustment layer. So we can go to effect and then go to noise and grain and then just select noise. 
Uh, we can, uh, let's not use color noise for this and then just set the noise to 15. And that leaves us with a pixelated version of myself. Now for fun, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little hue change just to give my hoodie a purple look and I don't know, gives it more of that like synth wave look that I want for the final effect. But we can go ahead and render this out and you know, use it however we like. So if we render it out, you wanna make sure that you go to File, go to Export, and then Render Queue. And then on the Render Queue settings, you wanna make sure that you change the output to Animation. And that'll just make sure that it doesn't render out the background as black, but it renders it out as a transparent. And once we've done that, you know, we can take our uh, character here and just kind of put it wherever we want within our pixel world. And you can see here, I've kind of applied it to this like alien invasion type of video game thing. I'm not really sure. Now the background and foreground elements within this shot were just built with, uh, you know, stock images that I just put together and then applied the pixel effect that we just went over on top of all of them. Now one cool plugin that I love to use that helps amplify any effect that I'm working on, especially this 16-bit type uh, game that I'm building here, is uh, AE Juice. Now with this plugin, you have all these different overlays and transitions and effects right within After Effects. And uh, everything that you're seeing here is part of the I Want It All bundle, which you can use my link uh, in the description below to get your hands on that. It's always got amazing deals and sales on it, so go ahead and check it out. But for today, we're going to use, let's see, look, it even has 8-bit effects, uh, which you can check out. That would actually, actually, let's go ahead and use that. Now, I would like to add, um, you know, some firepower to my character. So if you can see here, there's actually a fire flames option here. There's fire loops, fire sparks. And once I see one that I like, I can literally just click and drag it in. And then with it here, I can drag it wherever I want, which I'm going to want it at the base of my feet, kind of growing up over my head a little bit. And then I also want to change the color. So if I double click on the shot here and go to the effects controls. You can see here that I can change the color to, let's say purple, obviously to match my hoodie. Then let me go ahead and put it behind me and let it sit there. And then I'm also gonna change the blending mode to add, which you can see with this particular overlay, I don't have the option to. And to fix that, if we select the toggle switches and modes, we can just turn off the rasterize option right here. And then that will allow us to change this to an add blending mode. I also wanna then duplicate this overlay and then put it above me, bring it down a little bit, change the blending mode back to normal. And then I'm gonna mask out the bottom here. And this way it just kind of covers my feet a little bit, feather that out. And I know I went pretty fast at the very end there, but I just wanna show how with AE Juice, I'm able to save time and quickly enhance my effect that I'm already working on to get an awesome result. So again, if you wanna get your hands on this plugin, use my link in the description below. And they also have free options as well, which again, in the description below.